92.5. Brooke and Jubal's second date update. They say in life, always leave somebody wanting more. Mm. Oh, yeah. Especially in dating. You know, like mm-hmm. sometimes you leave them wanting more by not even showing up to the date. Yeah, I don't think that's what they mean. And then you're mysterious. <laughs> kind of like what happened to Caitlin, right? Caitlin, you got stood up apparently. Uh, that's what your email says. Yeah, I did. <laughs> all right, first of all, tell us a little bit about where you met this guy. Well, I actually, I tried online dating. Uh-huh. And I'm very new to it. I haven't done it before, but friends talked me into it and... Um, I went on a few dates, gave it a try, nothing special. Um, but then online I met Brett, this guy Brett. I, and you you sound- didn't say where you met him. What website was it? Can I say? Yeah, sure. Okay, Cupid. Okay, so not like the, the best dating website right. out there. Yeah. It's like okay, Cupid and Plenty of Fish are basically yeah. probably the worst places you can meet a dude. So you met this guy <laughs> on okay, Cupid. How long did you chat before you decided to meet up? We were talking for a while, for like, I don't know, like a, a week and a half before we decided to meet up. And uh, I got really excited about him. Even before we planned to meet up, he was really funny. He made me laugh. Mm-hmm. Um, he was a good conversationalist. And I know it's online. Like, I, I know that that doesn't mean he's going to be great in person. Yeah, it doesn't even mean he's going to be a he in person. <laughs> <laughs> I was just surprised to like, <laughs> you know, I was surprised to be enjoying talking with someone that much. So I was really excited to meet him. So what were you supposed to do? Just go to dinner? We were going to dinner. Okay. And I got there on time. Uh-huh. And he wasn't there yet. And I waited. And he still wasn't there. And I waited some more. And he still wasn't there. And oh I waited. Oh, my gosh. That's so long, awkward, dude. How long did you wait for him? Finally, it was like 25 minutes later. Uh-huh. So you're just sitting at the table, just ordering drinks for yourself like were you making excuses to the wait staff like hey oh. I, I promise i got somebody coming to join me no i sat at the bar and waited for him oh, that's <laughs> right. smart move. Yeah. and so, you were probably checking your phone over and over again did you try to call him i didn't call it it was it was 25 minutes so it's like i was i was getting really mad but you know that could be traffic like there could be an excuse for 25 right. minutes but yeah, I was I was like trying to hold back on calling. I was just trying to stay calm because I didn't want to. I didn't want when he walked in for me to be all mad that he was late. I didn't want to start that way. So um, I figured he would have an excuse, but he didn't walk in. He just texted. And what did his text say? He said uh, it's not going to work out. So sorry. What? He said it's not going to work out. Oh. Not like it's hey, not going to work out. So sorry. So basically, yeah. the whole thing between you guys wasn't going to work out, or just the date for the evening wasn't going to work out. Like, hey, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, that's that's what he said, and I was like, oh, what's wrong? Like, is everything okay? And he said, it's a long. He, said, he just said, long story. Oh my god, I would have responded, what the f- is your problem, dude? <laughs> so well, I said, I said that's fine. Do you want to reschedule? And he just stopped responding. So that's the last thing you heard from him was he said it's not going to work out. And then you asked mm-hmm. if something was wrong, and he said, long story, and that's it? That's it. And, I mean, you don't sound angry, and you wanted to reschedule with him. I would be well, furious. I was. Honestly, I, I am, and I, I was, but I was still trying to, like, give him the benefit of the doubt. Like, maybe something mm-hmm. happened, like yeah. an emergency or a car accident mm-hmm. or something. And so I actually went, when we were talking online before, he had mentioned that he lived in a nice apartment in Belltown. He has a doorman. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so oh, I actually nice. went over to Bell- I went to oh. Belltown, and, and there's, you know, not that many places with doorman. doormen, mm-hmm. so I just kind of walked around and was talking with the doorman, and nobody knew him, and, okay. you know. Wait it- a second. No, 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 so no, no, you no, went, no, hang no, on no, one no, second, no, Caitlin. No, you're All right, yeah, now, yeah. Now, <laughs> we've been ripping on this dude, but you, after he did this, you actually went to try to track down his place by talking to doorman? <laughs> Uh, yeah, but... You Caitlin, understand. do you realize that that sounds a little bit crazy? Yeah. I just wanted to make sure he was okay. No. Do you, now, on your profile, oh, are you honest in your profile? Are the pictures 100% you? Yeah. There's no, okay, so there's no way he could have walked in and been like, this is not the girl that yeah. I set up a date I mean, with. I'm a cute girl. I don't, I don't think You're not that. using that high school photo from 10 <laughs> years ago. No, I promise. It's exactly what it looked like. All right, well, real. we're going to call him for a second date update. I'm going to do you a favor, Caitlin, when we get him on the phone. I'm not going to tell him that you tried to stalk yeah, him. Let's God. keep that between and us. And find, okay, like, talk to you. every doorman. I'm not going to tell him that because yeah. if I tell him that, he will not go on a second date with you. Do you want to see him again or do you want to just find out what happened? 
I want to know if I should be pissed or not. Okay, but if you're not pissed, you'd like to go out with him again? Well, if he's got a good reason, I guess, yeah. yeah. And how long ago was oh this? Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, okay. Yeah, I thought she was going to be like last yeah, night. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it just happened. I'm actually standing outside of his place right now. <laughs> right, like I said, I'm going to leave that out. But, Caitlin, we're going to play a song, come back, call him, and get your second date update, okay? <laughs> okay. Brooke and Jubal in the Mornings, second date update. If you're just joining us for the second date update, Caitlin is on the phone. She wants us to call a guy named Brett today. Caitlin actually met Brett online, showed up to where they were supposed to meet. He never met her there. Mm -hmm. All she got was a text 25 minutes into waiting for him that said it's not going to work out. When she asked why, it just said, long story. I'm personally very excited to see if we can get Brett on the phone. You know why, Caitlin? Because I think I figured it out. Really? I do. Oh, Nancy so, Drew over here. Yeah, last thing he texted you, he said, it's not going to work out, long story, and then he hasn't responded to you. What I think, and you can tell me if you think that I'm wrong, what I think is, you almost had a date with a superhero. Oh, you think and he's Superman. He had like an emergency to oh. save the world, oh. and that's why he didn't show up, and he's been out fighting crime ever since and just hadn't a chance to get back to you. What do you think? Well, I kind of thought maybe he was murdered, and that was like his text wall. Oh, yeah. Hey, Reasonable. sometimes superheroes, <laughs> hey, there are super villains out there, too. Maybe he lost the fight. Yeah. That's amazing that you almost had a date with Superman. Isn't that cool? No. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Caitlin, I'm going to dial the phone number, see if we can get him on the phone, and get your second date update. Now, like you said earlier, you just want to know why he would do that to you, why he wouldn't show up and then blow you off and not even give you an explanation. If he's cool, yeah. you still want me to ask for a second date, though, right? I mean, he's got to be really cool and have a really good explanation. Okay. So he's got okay, a lot but... of work to do, but if he, <laughs> but if he ends up, you end up liking his excuse, you will go out with him again. Maybe. Okay. okay. Well, I'm going to dial the phone number right now and see if we can get him on the phone and get your second date update, okay? Okay. Hello? Hi, is Brett there? Uh, uh, he, no, he's not here at the moment. Who am I speaking with? This is his roommate. Okay. Who is this? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm all right. Not bad. So <laughs> what's your name, roommate? My name is Paul. 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 All right, Paul. So are you answering Brett's phone? No, this is my phone. What? Okay. What? I'm calling because Brett, is that your, that's your roommate? Yes, yeah, sort of, yes. Is it like I'm a so roommate air quotes? Here, like look. <laughs> okay, Brett recently went out with a girl who listens to our show, and then he blew her off, and she gave me this phone number to call to get a hold of Brett. <laughs> so okay. is this not, this is not Brett's phone? This is not Brett's phone. No, this is my phone. But okay, why would Brett, you... he does give out my phone number every now and then. Brett gives out your phone number? Yeah, I mean, uh, oh my God, this is hilarious. Can you explain to me what the hell is going on? <laughs> yeah, so I don't want to say his real name because this, I guess this is on the radio, but Brett came up with this plan, which is actually kind of a genius, but <laughs> Brett is not a real person. What? What? My roommate just goes on these dating sites, and what he does is he has a profile, he's got his picture, he's, he's charming, he's got a good job, he, whatever, <laughs> and uh, apparently girls really love the name Brett. Oh. <laughs> so he sets up dates with, you know, two or three girls at the same location, and... When he gets to that location and the girls are there, he looks uh, in and then picks the one he actually wants to go out with, and uh, it goes from there. Are you kidding what? me? Shut up. And then uh, the other girls have my phone number, or they call him or text him. Or whoa, something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So you guys work together on this? Yeah, sort of. I mean, I'll take phone calls for Brett, or I'll text for Brett, you know. You sound like this is just a normal phone call for you. Do yeah. you, a lot of people call you and ask for Brett? Yeah, I get a couple of phone calls. They they are usually from girls. So what threw me at first was you don't sound like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like one. 
So when a girl is sitting by herself, stood up at a bar and texting about where you are, you're the one that's actually texting them and saying that, oh, something came up. Yeah, sometimes, unless he chooses the girl that has my number, and then, then it's a whole other thing. And but, yeah, guys... usually I'm the one texting. Well, that's well, That elaborate. is a very <laughs> elaborate scheme. Yeah. And what do you get out of it? I mean, he, at least he's going on the dates. Why are you doing this for him? Uh, you know, I'm bored. So that's <laughs> bored. Oh, my God. That is you, so why are you, you sound like... It sounds so much like you don't care no, at all. Like, like you're just like at least be like nervous and trying to cover it up. It sounds like you don't care one bit. I mean, I don't really care. I mean, I think it's funny. Like we said, <laughs> all right. The girl. Dude. Well, the reason I was calling Brett was because Brett did that to somebody, and I guess you texted her back. Her name is Caitlin. I don't know if you remember Caitlin. I'm sure Caitlin. this. That sounds familiar. Sounds familiar. All right. <laughs> one of the many. Hey, Caitlin is actually on the phone. With oh, us I'm because so disgusted. This is the. She was hoping you're to. Disgusting. She was hoping to talk to Brett. How the f- did you guys do this to me? It's so I, mean, I don't know who you so are. Offensive. I didn't do anything. But like, I just texted you that it was. Uh, I guess it was like not going to work out or something. I don't know what I said, but you know. I don't even. I don't even understand how you can be friends with this guy or help him. This is horrible. Do you realize? I know it's a long time. Do you realize girls are women? girls are crazy. Like this is like just a fun thing we're doing. You're calling girls crazy. <laughs> you guys are putting so much effort into just f-ing with women. I don't understand. Like you're just as big of a douchebag as this guy is. You're just as big of an ass. <laughs> Hey, look, I mean, like, he was talking to you online. Like, maybe you don't look like your picture online. Maybe you I do look like my something. picture. I look exactly like my picture. Maybe he doesn't look like his picture. That's what you said. He's oh. full of oh. and you're helping him. Oh, God. I mean, that's one of my best friends. I don't know. He told me he lives he in like Belltown with his doorman. It sounds like you guys live on some disgusting hole of an apartment and just, like, <laughs> big women together. What the hell is that? It's so disgusting. Brett, do you even remember Caitlin? I mean, I remember that name in my phone, but, I mean, again, it was like three texts. It was like, it's not going to work out, you know, can't I talk right now. I texted a lot more than that, and he didn't respond, or you didn't respond, so f*** you. <laughs> Wait. See what I'm saying about girls, man? I mean, they're yeah. all like Hey, dude, you're right, man. Hey, you know what? You bait and switch girls, you fool them, and then they want to get angry about it, you know? I'm completely with you, whatever your name is. All right, here, well, so I have I'll no say, idea it was going to be something that ridiculous. That is, This is the most pathetic, disgusting yeah. story I've ever heard. Hey, Caitlin, like, I know that was my roommate, and that's a totally different thing, but if you want to go out sometime, you oh. got my number. Like, oh, my God. Oh, you did not. Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah. Never Paul, in your wildest dreams would I go out with you, you pathetic piece of <laughs> Yeah. Are you sure? I mean, it sounds like a sweetheart. <laughs> I mean... We can text. I got your number now. Okay? Like, about so it. Gross, dude. All right, that hey, is so uh, disgusting. Paul or Brett or whatever your name is, <laughs> man. Thanks for uh, being honest, at least. Yeah. I mean, no problem, man. Honesty is the best policy, right? No, yeah, dude. Uh, yeah. you're right. You're a moral <laughs> upstanding citizen, yeah. my friend. <laughs> Try to be honest with the women from now on, buddy. Yeah, I- I'll be sure to do all that. <laughs> all right. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. That thanks, so Brett. Gross. Or thanks, Paul. Or I don't even know what his I name know. is What's anymore. His face? Who cares? <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> He's gone. Caitlin. I'm so pissed off. That was ridiculous. Understandably. Yeah, but yeah I think right. that might be the biggest D-bag we have ever talked to. Not even in a second date update, just on the show in general. <laughs> but thank God, Caitlin, that you weren't the one that he actually chose and you never found out about all this. I know. I'm never online dating again. They've ruined it for me. You know what, Caitlin? I, I don't feel like this second date update is done. I'm going to make it my mission to get this guy's real number, whoever Brett is. What? And so we can do another second date update for you. <laughs> do you want to do that? <laughs> No. Nope. Well, but maybe he has a good excuse, and then you guys could go out like yeah, we were talking right, about earlier. Right, right. <laughs> Not in a million years. <laughs> Broken Jubal in the morning. We taped that second date update oh yesterday, gosh. and we were at an event last night, and I was telling everybody there when they were like, hey, I love the second date updates. I was like, you have to listen to tomorrow's second date update, the biggest D-bag ever. A lot of texts in at 78592. Nobody really giving the guy credit. Uh, no surprise there, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They said, that is Brett. I don't believe him. A lot of people think that that is actually Brett, the guy that's oh, been that fooling small. girls okay. or making a bunch of girls show up to a bar and then picking which one looks the hottest and then blowing off the others. I believe he's, his roommate story. I mean, it was really? so elaborate he's, he's, that why would you... Yeah, Yeah, it seemed like there was way too much to it. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, another text in at 78592. What a bunch of D-bags. It's a-holes like that that ruin dating for good guys. It is true. Listen, I don't subscribe to a bro code, right? I don't. Like, I don't know. Whatever, man. Yeah. Right? But I do have one thing that I subscribe to that is my bro code, all right? It's don't, like, screw over chicks. Don't cheat on your girlfriend. Uh. And don't just... Because, you know what? You might think about it. I know. I know you don't guys... Don't do all the things oh, well, no, that no, I've done I, I have, past relationships. Yes. I've done it, it in the past, and that's why I'm saying... Don't do it because I know okay. how it is, right? So you do that to a girl, right? You might not care about the chick, whatever, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. That's you. But eventually, she's going to meet some dude that cares about her a lot, and she's going to have to baggage mm -hmm. in that relationship, yeah. and it's going to make life hell for that guy. Oh, yeah. So that's the bro code. Pay it forward. It's true. Pay, right? it forward. <laughs> pay it Treat forward. Treat people with respect. Yeah, that is so that you can pay method. it forward. To the other dudes. I like it. Yeah, that's my bro code. If you want a second date update, all you have to do is just email the show, Brick and Jubal at Moving925.com. We will call the person that didn't call you back. Moving92.5 presents Freak Night.